look, when I tell Absolutely. you this, right, and I and I did the research. Look, we can go, we can go head to head on this, cause I got notes on this, nigga. I got notes on this. When you started actually going through it and looking at it, look, the white man fight against women is different from the black man. See, look, black man, we don't hate our women. We just look, y'all hoes just leverage the guy. So I said, hey, bitch, shut the fuck up and listen to what I'm saying. We have different fights, so that's why you have a different. These two communities, the the white manosphere and the black manosphere, is totally different because black men have different problems than black men have. White men, I mean, white men have different problems. It's a totally different fight, right? And then, yeah, you can combine forces or whatever, but at the end of the day, just like Adam Twenty Two, he gonna get what he want from you. He gonna talk about rap and hip hop, <laughs> and then next thing you know. His first chance he get, he gonna get Nick Fluentes, which, like I said, I have no problem with. Okay. Well, then if y'all don't like him, y'all gotta stop watching him. Exactly. Look, a lot of I people ain't don't about shit. Watch the show. Listen, listen. I went over. I went over to uh, Lil Black Books uh, panel the other day. I said one thing in the chat. I went. I said one. Look, I got a whole hotel full of foreigners. Hey, black book nigga, you speak like these other motherfuckers here. And I'm watch I, I'm gonna tell them, give me a bill. <laughs> hey, can I get another beer? Thank you. <laughs> I went over the little black books panel. Uh I didn't I just typed in the chat. They was on me. They was on me. And but here's the here's the caveat to that though, right? I knew what came along with it when I went over there? I'm not deceived. Like, I'm not confused. I know why they saying what they saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking at it like that. I made the decision to intentionally participate over there on that platform because I like Little Black Book, right? And so my point is, is that when I look at a Vlad TV, right, or I look at something like that, I look at that and I say, hmm, let me learn from him instead of getting mad at him and then figure out how I compete against him. That's just my mentality. I don't give a fuck about what Vlad is doing. The only reason I care about what Vlad is doing so I can actually learn about what it is that he's doing, take the blueprint, hopefully improve on it, and then compete against him. I don't want to cancel Vlad. I just want to take his audience. Mm. And you know what else? You know what else you see while we sitting here complaining about Vlad? A nab, a nab black audi, uh, 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 artist stopped going on his platform. Not one. Boosie on his platform every day. Ye Tony Yayo on his platform every day. Right? Uh, I just seen uh, Roland Martin, supposed to be one of the blackity blackest people. I heard he fucking did, his, did uh, a Vlad TV interview the other day. All of y'all leaders... And everybody that y'all fuck with and that y'all support is the ones that's actually providing the content for him to put out on a regular basis. So if y'all going to complain, keep it fair across the board. Yo, listen, you can't sit here and whine about a problem that you're creating. If you don't like it, then don't watch. If you don't like it, then hold your artists accountable that's going on the platforms and giving them all of this other type of shit. You can't get mad at the, at the dude for saying, OK, fuck that. I'm about to get this money. What are you supposed to do? Not compete? Vlad is out here competing. Adam 22 is out here competing. And everybody else is out here competing. They're not worried about what you think. They getting this money. And so while y'all out here waiting on them to give y'all something, which is the same thing that we're doing mm -hmm. with reparations, the same thing that we're doing with these politicians, and the same thing that we're doing in every other facet of life, y'all want them to create a job for y'all, diversity, equity, and inclusion. They saying, fuck mm -hmm. that. We, we fighting. We competing. And we going, we uh going in. They they All not right, turning so down one bag. Boosie and them not turning down one bag. Nobody, none of them is turning it down one bag. And so you know what I do? I figure out how to compete more effectively. Listen, not only listen, I know he got the bigger platform, but I'm gonna treat you better. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna create a relationship with you. I'm gonna put you in a top five star hotels. I'm gonna give you the suites. I'm gonna give you a driver. I'm gonna make sure you're taken care of. Like, I'm gonna figure out how to compete. I'm not, you don't hear me sitting here complaining about Vlad. You ain't heard me ever say nothing about Adam 22. I'm about to, I'm, I'm out here to, to grind and take a portion of their audience. And all of y'all leaders is going to still continue to show up on their platform. Roland Martin, 
All of the people that y'all, that, that champ, yo, I've seen Umar Johnson on Vlad. He's supposed to be the black and the blackest person. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. No, man, listen, listen. I'm tired of these hypocrites, yo. See, one thing about me, I'm not going to say that I don't fuck with somebody that I fuck with, right? I'm not going to divest myself from something and be a hypocrite about it. Umar Johnson has been on Vlad multiple times. Brother Polite, Roland Martin, Boosie, all of these so-called advocates for the black community and all of this other shit, they all own the platform that they say that, they, that, that these people is infiltrating. I'm not buying it, bro. I'm not buying it. Mm -hmm. Say it, it's silly, See, I'll, dis I'll, I'll disagree with what you're saying. But like I said, just let's think about it, right? I'm going I'm to throw the just Purdy out, right? And I'm going to use an imaginary figure, right? Just say white woman A take an interest into black relationships, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. What's her interest in black relationships besides monetary gain? I don't know. What okay, so let, no, 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 let's let's assume let's assume that is monetary gain. Now, what's wrong with that? Well, 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 like I said, if it's monetary gain, then I'm not like I said, I'm not. Thank you, baby. Look at that, that good journey. <laughs> hey, look, right, hey, for you niggas who never been outside of America, you better go get some good shit. But look, <laughs> I'm not I, look, this is the thing, I'm not a hater, but what I'm saying is that. When you get on these panels and you talk about something like you really give a fuck, right? Mm -hmm. And then, because I had to check myself, because I had to say, you know what? And I don't even like it because I believe everybody have a voice. Somebody come on Fight Club, somebody call, somebody a racial slur. I'm the first one to say, hey, nah, don't do that. But now I'm thinking about it. I'm saying, okay. You and my relationships are different. What is your interest in black relationships if it's not monetary gain? If it's monetary gain, just say, hey, look, you know what? I'm here for the bag. Blase, you do it. Why Why, do they, why would they say that? Why would they say that, though? Because now I think if they, look, because I think intentions matter. So, like, I when I look at it, I said to myself, you, you don't understand. You're not in it. You'll never be in it. Obviously, I think I'm dumb for not knowing that. But I'm like this. It's like, why are you using black relationship pain as a way for you to gain popular but, then, but logic, subscribers logic. and monetary gain? I, I want to get a little black book's opinion. But then you know why it's hypocritical mm -hmm. logic? Not from what you're saying, but just in general. Mm -hmm. Because y'all date white women. Not you. Say that again. They date white women. And they Not do me. compare yeah. black women to white women on, on YouTube. They date white women. Y'all a fuck on them. Y'all have a family with them. What's the difference? I, I definitely want to have a but, but What's the difference? Is, but, well, it, it's a difference because the thing is, is the topics they talk about on these panels is not revolved around interracial relationships. It's balls around Black men and black women relationship. Am I wrong or am I right? No, you're wrong. You're wrong. No, no that, I, I ain't talking about no password, bros. That's something separately. Every, uh, no, these, right. these dick and pussy conversations is revolve around black men wrong. and black women. You're wrong. That's it. That's all the content. Hey, this black bitch went upside this nigga head. Or this black bitch put this nigga on child support. Or this black nigga went nuclear on this hole. Or... He had seven baby mamas. That seven baby mama nigga, was he interracial? No. He got seven baby mamas, allegedly, by seven black women. No, it's no, no that's black false women. logic. Logic, he never said it was by black women. And he's Houston, and Houston is very diverse. Yeah, he didn't He didn't say that. He didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, he wasn't but just fucking we, on We black know, women. we know. Look, we you know, know that the no. only, the only, no. okay, wait. The only Love women that'll let you fuck on them the only women that let you fuck on them like that the, everything no, he said we know them black that's women really not you. but no 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 but i got uh, hold on hold on hold on go ahead go ahead q go ahead q a lot of mexicans that are baby mamas 
So I know he was dipping in the Mexican pond and all that. So you can't just say that in Houston. I guess my thing. Well, hold on. Let me. Let me get a little. Let me get a little black book. What's your thoughts, bro? Hey, uh, shout out to you, Anton. Thank you um, as well. Um, and shout out for coming on the panel. Uh, come on our channel the other week. I think I got a few points. I had to write it down. Right. First and foremost, I think um, we're talking about who can exploit the black community the best. And Just Pearl has proved that as a white woman, she's exploited the black community better than the black men can exploit the black community or the black women could, right? Because she's exploiting. That's what it is. She's commercialized black pain just like they did in your rap and hip hop culture back in the day. It's a commercialized game, right? That's all she's done. She's exploiting. Now, um, I did a video some months back. I said, when Kevin Samuel passed, I said, who would be your king? You got a queen, a white queen at that. Because she literally made rounds, rounds. She made rounds around all the black manosphere people and is still doing so, collecting them like uh, uh, infinity stones. And she's managed to infiltrate the, the, the community and have her way in the community. And this, the reason why she's able to do that is because the reality is a lot of people are followers within the black community. So much so they're willing to submit themselves to this particular woman who's actually exploiting them and they can't say anything but get excited. Now this is what happens when your community is in this particular instance, I'm talking about the black manosphere side, is fueled by hate because you, get, you came to a common denominator. Your common denominator of enemy was a black woman. So you can easily mm -hmm. unify with the, black, with the white woman to now start hating on the black woman. I'm not saying whether you agree or whether you like or not, it's up to you. But that was the reason why black men got behind Just Pearl because she calling out black quote unquote modern women. And so you 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 realize people well, see no, no, themselves. No, no. To be fair, she's calling out. I've seen her hold white women. I've seen her hold a lot of different women accountable. It's, it's, not, it's not true. It's not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying she's not hold white women accountable. But who's on her panels? Mm -hmm. White women, black women, all women. It's not this, no. The majority of it is black people on her panels. So we're not talking about white relationships, Often, oftentimes. We're talking about black people relationships because majority of her panelists are black. Listen, she just did a meetup. She just did a meetup in in UK and the entire people that came to the meetup are black. You said black she hit you, said she hit you up. You said she hit you up? No, no, no. She, she, did a, she did a link up. She posted a picture as well, the link up. The people that actually came to link up are blackity black. Okay, they're black Londoners. Okay, they were there wasn't many white folk in there. The majority. Okay, of so, but, but wait, wait, wait. But isn't that not is that not a choice? I'm not saying it's not a choice. What I'm, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is she isn't. Listen, first and foremost, I think a lot of the spaces on YouTube are about exploitation. I'm saying that she has perfected her exploitation like it's a plantation field. Because she knows I don't exactly look at it like that, though. Game. I could be wrong, but I don't look at it like that. Because honestly, um, I don't. I I see her honestly, and you know what I think that she does really well that most people don't do is she she networks her ass off and she outworks everybody else. When listen, when we were in Miami. She was going show to show, grind to grind, person to person, value taming everywhere. She was all over the fucking place. I mean, she probably did like five or six shows per day every single day, right? And then she reaches out to people and she connects with them and all of that. What I see, what I see other content creators doing, you know what they tried to do with me and Angry Man when I first met Angry Man? They tried to pit us against each other. Hmm. And I said, yo, Angry Man. We don't even have any re reason to beef with each other. Let's connect with each other. Matter of fact, I'm going to send you a plane ticket. First class, come to Detroit. Let me show you a good time. We're going to send course that and have a, have a great time, right? And so instead of us connecting and networking and working our ass off and competing, we just complain about other people that's doing it more effectively than us. And so I don't see it as the same way that y'all see it. I just think that y'all haven't, I don't think that most people have learned what the name of the game is. But see, that's, that's a different argument what you're making, Anton. We're not talking about our work ethic. All right. Mm. We're talking about I, motivation. I'm not. I, but, but no, what I'm saying is when you look, check this out. I fell victim to it too. Because when I look at it, I say to myself, 
I'm I don't I'm not looking at race. I'm not looking at sex. I'm having a conversation, right? But it never dawned on me to ask myself, what is your motives behind the points that you're making? I see. Look, I had a whole conversation with this chick on the beat, right? And it right. Was, I, I, hold on, hold on, Logic. Give me one second. Hey, um, our pain. I got to drop you down for one second, okay? Yeah. I'll try to get you okay. back shortly. I'm about to go back. To but my point I was making is that look, yeah, yeah. It, it this is not about like the talking points. What she stated on the piece, I agree with her, right? A hundred percent. But I never, not once, asked myself, what's her motive behind this? Like, obviously, she's not going through what I'm going through. And it, it never dawned on me to ask her these questions. Mm -hmm. So, because in my opinion, in my mind, I was focused on the discussion, the topic, let's talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm looking at it and I'm saying different things and I'm trying to say, damn, what was your motive? You don't go through what what Mr. Elijah go through, what the nigga from UK go through. Sway, you kind of mix, you and B. Taylor. I don't know what y'all go through. But to me, intentions matter. And I say we don't know her intentions. So now the thing is, if her intentions is to exploit black play, black fucked up relationships, hey, she proves she I don't see I don't see it that way. Listen, Logic. You know how hard it is to get 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 each other together to work with each other? I'm gonna be honest with you. You know how hard it is to, for me to get B Taylor here in Detroit? <laughs> have have y'all listen, listen. I would right, never well, tell y'all the conversations that what, me and what, B Taylor what, is having what, offline. But B Taylor could quite possibly be the most hardest people, hardest person to ever get over here in Detroit. But look, look, B Taylor, B Taylor blocked me because of Jess Pearly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. No. No. Yes, you I did. You for All right, look, no. All right, well, look, I this is the you logic for a different reason. You, you was bullying. You was trying to get people to uh, I, attack I, my I, character. I, I, so Jess Pearly, get off of way. me. I'm just saying. Look, but the thing is, is that, I don't know, be tell them, because that's our first interaction we had with the uh, the Jess Pearly situation. Now, when you're talking about the Mr. points Pearly? that Jess Pearly, yeah. the, the points that Jess Pearly made, I literally agree with Jess Pearly. But I never asked myself, what is this motherfucker's motive for coming at, it was like, I, it, it never I, approached me. This is this is the contradiction with y'all because months ago I got fucking annihilated on the internet and called the racist and everything else because of this woman because I saw her true colors. At the end of the day, like I may talk my mess, but I love black men. I love my people. I want black love first, even though I tell women like if it's not working, go somewhere else. But first, I want our community. Like when I came into this space, it was with pure intentions of like hearing each other out. I may not like what a lot of the men say because it hurts to hear, but a lot of y'all don't like what I have to say because it hurts to hear, but it's like, it needs to be said. So when I came into these spaces, it's with genuine intentions. And like the one problem, I have my problems with Kevin Samuels, but the one thing that I respect is, is that he was a black man that wanted better for our community. Even though some of it was a money grab, at the end of the day, I'd rather see a black man in that space than a woman like Curly, where I saw her, and this is before she even blew up. I think she didn't even have like that many subscribers, and YouTube kept pushing her into my algorithm. So I watched a few of her videos in the beginning, before y'all even knew who this woman was, and I was like, wait a second. I called Cap from the beginning that it was a money grab for her, especially when Kevin Samuels passed away. She saw an opportunity to make money, and <laughs> said that the manosphere, the manosphere is only fans for black men. And so y'all, wait, 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 wait. y'all don't think that y'all being biased based on what? No, no. Wait, based off the fact that she a white woman. I no, 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 wait, 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 hey, be no, tell no, her, be tell her, wait, 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 be tell her, calculate it, calculate it first, baby. I just want to finish this point. When I sat on that panel, when I tried to challenge her and said, what is your intentions when you bring on city girls? 
to your page and most of the women were labeled by their race she says it's for entertainment no one bats an mm -hmm. eyelash but when she blindly goes too far and really tell y'all how she feel about y'all and how she feel about black people now it's oh 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 but i'm sorry y'all came for me really hard when i tried to point that out but hold on wait 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 wait, 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 wait. you know that you know what you know what the problem with this is though because I think it is because she white. I think that's the only reason. And the reason that I say that is because we love and support Fresh and Fit when they do it. Do I do. Well, you don't, little black book. But in general, we love and support Fresh and Fit when they bring up only when they bring up city girls and only flans chick. We don't hold them accountable for it. We say, yeah, yeah, rah, rah. But if Pearl do it, then it's it's only because okay. of the people. Okay, Anta, did this the point what I'm trying to make point. white. Oh, right they're not wait, wait, be, wait, be tell her. Hold up, hold up, be tell her. Be tell her, be tell her. Be tell her, hold on. This the point, Anton. I'm in Germany right now, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine me going and I'm talking to the Germans and I'm talking to them about they um they politicians, right? They politicians don't affect me. The first thing that these Germans gonna say to me is what? These don't affect you. You don't. You're not actually a citizen of Germany. How is this relevant to you? What are your intentions, right? Look, and I said, and I and I'm gonna give it to you. I didn't even look at it. I didn't even think about it. I was discussing the topic at hand. So if now, she if she if wasn't if she wasn't white, y'all wouldn't have no problem with it. Go ahead, Sway. I, I, I want to hear what Sway. Okay. I want to hear what Sway got to say real quick. Because, because she's not, because she's white, right? What are your intentions to bring when you talk about our issues with our women and our men? What is your intentions? And she is one of the biggest. There are women like Six the Goddess and other Black women who hold. Who? 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 I have brought here and. <laughs> Have I not? Have I not? Have I not brought six here? Listen, six sat right here. Literally right here. No, you 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 can't look, you can't pin Anton down with this situation because he he's pretty much a free market. This is not about no, this is not about Wait, 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 wait. Not only have I brought six the goddess here, I brought Crimson I brought Crimson Cure here. Right, people that I agree with or don't agree with, what, and they look like me. B Taylor, her plane ticket is waiting on her. I'm just waiting on her to hit the button in her email. I I live it. No, no, but hold on, wait. That's the difference is that I bring people together. I spend my own money, my own money, to bring people together, to connect people, to work with different people, so on and so forth. The angry man. The one thing that angry man said. He said, "Yo, Anton." It's hard to be able to connect with people. And he said this literally in my studio just the other day. He said it's hard to be able to connect with people. He said, you're the only person that was willing to rock out with me in person and work with me. That's what Angry Man said. No, so, Angry Man, a damn, hey, he a damn lie. I no, 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 no. I'm talking about. No, I invite, hey, no, I, no, I, no I logic, logic. I'm, and you got to remember, what? Angry Man has been been rocking out. Since 2015, I know he's been rocking out for a long time, but but I because I knew who Anger Man was. I invited Anger Man to the. I told him I will I will pay for everything for him to come to the uh, the Atlanta live show. So Anger Man full of shit. You tell him I said it. Anger Man full of fucking shit. He not. So now, but but on that on that point because I like I said I tried to I I saw him go through these things so now because i knew him i try to correct it like i'm gonna tell you you should try to get tommy soda me or uh do a one-on-one -on -one with tommy you know what i'm saying i'm gonna say it because they are the people you know what i'm saying who brought this to the internet like i said now we at the point that women hijacked it first of all so now we're not gonna go into the women thing now what we're seeing it's it's beneficial monetarily to other races to hijack black relationship problems so now exactly. I, look trust me and i'm telling you i swear you wrong. Up. no listen listen what i'm saying anton i'm telling you i was wrong when in, in the midst of the conversation and i told me telling this all i did 
was I said I focused on the conversation. I never once questioned just Pearly about her intentions. Was she here to gain the audience, monetary gain? I, I didn't do that. I focused on the point. But now I'm seeing it differently now. I'm like, what are your interests in black relationship pain? That means you owe me an apology because when I try to do it, hey, how, how about you unblock me? You unblock me, and I give you an apology. How about that? I I didn't block you. You're a damn liar. Yeah. <laughs> You're a damn liar, but, detail. But go ahead, continue. I'll, I'll unblock you. I just want to hear an apology. No, I said Publicly. unblock me first, then you'll get an apology. No. No, no, you you're not blocked. You have my phone number. You're not blocked. All right, look, you you talking too much on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got a phone number. <laughs> Yo, Sway, let me hear what you got to say, Sway. What's going on, Tom? What up, though, big dog? Good, so I just don't have the energy to over talk people today. Um, but I was discussing this on uh. Israel panel and AM because they were coming at AM for the potential of going on her show. And I just don't understand like niggas is niggas is too much in the ego or something because I don't see it as any different as you going on Dr. Phil show. Like I don't really I really don't. If you're using a platform that's gonna exist with or without you to expand and build your audience and your platform, then do it. She's going to be popping with or without Anton going on there. She's going to be popping with or without Anger Man going over there. She's already built her audience. They are already invested into her. And I honestly think, really, y'all niggas is ungrateful. The fact that y'all have a platform that big where black men and women can speak their grievances out and try to get to a bigger audience of black men and women to have the conversation, I just feel like y'all being you know, ungrateful. Why? Because her name's titled on the channel? Then start your own fucking channel. But at that point, y'all can't complain. Y'all the ones investing into her. Y'all go on her show every day. Nobody tells y'all to wake up and go on her show. Y'all could easily start your own show and then just branch out and say, fuck her. But y'all not doing that. Go ahead, little black book. So just to, just to, just to add this one to the situation. What, what, I, what I see in the situation is that um, I, I, I do understand what you're saying about, you know, that you know she's gonna be popping and i agree she will be popping regardless the problem we have that she's popping is that just like i have a problem with fresh and fit and some other channels as well who do it is that there's a, a false representation that's used to 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 bring uh, an imagery to the black community like i always say to you anton if we're focused on building the black community bullshit like this excuse my french it's the kind of stuff we should be cancelling or at least talking against because it doesn't help our community like what she does doesn't help our community because it's a false representation, right? There's a false representation. One, I find it infuriating when we consistently, and this is, I have a problem with not just her her, her particular uh, style of doing work, it's the audience too. The lack of intellectualism is what the problem is, killing a lot of black people. Because if, you, if I watch, when I start watching her show, it's the same rhetoric I hear over and over and over again without any real deep thought, and it promotes a particular style of thinking. And then I'm like, okay, but the reason why people are supporting this, like I said, it, all it did, all it ever did was make the black man the, uh, uh, in association with Just Paul linking up with a white woman to hate on black modern women. That's all it did. That's all it did for you. It's not entertainment at that point. At that point, it becomes warfare. And what we don't realize is by not saying something about it, right, is that it automatically starts putting a rhetoric, not only in black males' minds, but also our white counterparts too, going, I guess they're back on that coonery again. The, the, yeah, problem, the problem with that little black book is that our actions is completely different than what the things that we say, right? So, for example, let's say hypothetically we say, okay, well, let's hold Pearl accountable for getting money and growing our platform really big or whatever, right? Cool. We can do that. But it's funny because we talk about all of these people, right? We talk about the uh, Angry Man's has been around since, what, 2016, 17, or whatever, right? We talk about all of these different people. Ironically enough, I would say that I'm probably one of the smallest of all of the content creators that's technically supposed to be big, right? And I've been around longer than everybody. 
I've been around longer than all of these people, right? Now, what am I saying? I'm basically saying that the way that you actually show that you want to voice your concern is to, sh is to support the platforms and the people that you supposedly be rocking with, right? And the thing that I'm trying to understand is if all of the people, if all of the people that's complaining about her is actually rocking with her and subscribe to her and looking at all of her content, how can we really hold her accountable if they're the ones that's watching? Like what, what is anything doing instead of the people that we actually rock with, look at, subscribe to? Yo, listen, y'all will fly out, fly out and go and kick it with other people on their panels and y'all will spend y'all own money to do it. I be trying to bring y'all together by spending my money to do it, and y'all motherfuckers still be giving me problems. But see, Anton, this is the thing I think you're not. Understanding. No, no, no. Think about that for a minute. But, but no, I, I, no, I treat y'all. Wait, 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 wait. I see, treat so y'all like wait, God. Wait, 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 wait. wait I have y'all the, the point best point. suites. Wait, wait, wait. Don't know. Can okay, nobody say that they ain't never flew first class as a result of it? Can okay, nobody we, say we, that I don't make sure that they can't spend? I, can't I didn't let Fix and Cure spend one dollar. I didn't let. I if didn't let Sam Adams spend one dollar. I wait, didn't wait, 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 let Angry time, Man spend time. one dollar. Angry Man, you know what me and Angry Man sit? We sit right next to the Pistons bench <laughs> on the floor listening to these motherfuckers. I treat y'all like gold. Y'all will spend y'all own money to go and support other people, but then I spend my money to support y'all, give y'all more visibility, take care of y'all, make sure that y'all eat, fly good, back and forth. And y'all got a completely different mentality as to how it is that y'all treat me. So right, at the, at the same time, so hold on. So at the same time, so at the same time, do we hold her accountable or do we hold us accountable? 